X38 is a single dumbbells workout with three main goals, advanced get up and shin box training, bulletproofing your whole body. I'm talking head through toe, and we're gonna fix some balances between sides. I'm gonna break it all down for you now. All you need is a light 10 to 25 pound dumbbell. You'll be done in 20 minutes. Here we go. Get ready for one of the most scandalous and sizzling shoulder workouts of your life. We're gonna get into our fetal position to start the get up pathway. Roll to your back, exhale, through to the seated position. Now you're gonna do one overhead press. Inhale down, exhale up. Then a slow eccentric sit up. Dig those heels down. Try to inhale all the way through into that belly for stability, okay? And then we go right back into the get up pathway again, but this time it's two shoulder presses, all right? So every time you come back to that sit up position, you're going to add another press. And this is gonna be such a slow cooker. We're talking abs, shoulders, working on both shoulders actually simultaneously. I know this one's working here too, but so is this guy. You do a full three minute block on one side, then switch sides. So get ready for a smoker, stay light, stay controlled. Make sure on this one in particular to smooth descent. We don't wanna be jerky and we don't wanna feel our legs taken off the ground. Get it. Prepare your mind, body, and soul for one of the biggest tests of balance you'll ever experience. It's a full body drill with a light dumbbell and we're gonna stay on one leg the whole time. Halfway through, we'll switch arms. So start ipsilaterally, which means same side loaded as support leg. And then contralateral is the opposite side, which is more challenging to stabilize and really starts to hit those hips a little bit harder. Here, a little more inner hip thigh, low quad stabilization here, it's heavy outer hip area. So here's what it's gonna look like and we'll start on the floor. So I get locked in, I'm going to Keep a slight bend in that knee, back leg bent at 90 degrees. I'm going to inhale down, keep my hips and shoulders square to the ground, and then I wanna really drive this heel up to get that hip into extension, and then heads in line with the spine. I'm gonna exhale up, inhale it down, and then exhale, pull it through, get that knee above hip level if you can, make it one smooth exhale up, and I'm gonna repeat in that fashion for time. Opposite side looks just like this. Again, it's go slow on this. This is a slow time under tension drill. Pack that shoulder down. Oop, oop, see, it's challenging. And keep doing the best you can. Now, you wanna make it super tough, okay? And uh, full disclosure, uh, I dropped a couple F-bombs filming the B-roll of this because I kept struggling to get it all the way through. If you can't bring the leg with you on the leg raise, you can also just keep it here and make it easier. But this will really increase the challenge both from a stability standpoint and a stretch standpoint for the hip and the ankle. So, lower in control. And just keep working that pattern. Again, lightweight's gonna feel heavy. One side loaded means opposite side core is working really hard to stabilize and control that uneven load. So, if you have to bump the weight down a little bit, that's fine. It's three minutes of total time of your tension on one leg, 90 seconds per side, and you'll switch the next set. How do you do? Multi-level thruster complex, shin box to lunge to squat in order. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here and again, go padded floor mat if needed for the shin box portion. We go our 90-90 shape. We start here at shoulder level. On all the movements, exhale up, inhale down. So I get here. One minute. Shin box thrusters. Next minute, you're just gonna walk up into the split version here, get tall. Third minute, just move to squat. Good sink. Spread those hips, sit tall. All right, and then when you're done, you can work it back down to your shin box shape and then just switch sides. So three minutes total on one side, and we're fixing the balances here, leveling the pelvis, and we go to a stronger shape as we fatigue. Single leg to double leg. So this is a great flow, testing your movement skills, but also really bringing up your overall conditioning. Yes, we're continuing to build our ground to stand skills for longevity and bulletproofing the whole body. The beauty of this, we learn the basic movements, the get up the shin box, and once you do that, it unlocks so many different movements, complexities, and variations. So keep working it. Stay light with your 10 to 25 pound dumbbell. Make your post work or report in the comment section below. Get after it today. You're done in 20 minutes. Peace.
go. Halfway. Rest. Go.
halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway.
rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go.
halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway.
rest.